Hey guys, welcome back to another video of my wardrobe series. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tracy and I create videos on minimalism and intentional living to make the daily life a little simpler. For more on that, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Today, as part of my wardrobe series, I'll be covering how to declutter your wardrobe. Last week we discussed how to build your wardrobe. There, I share tips for finding your style and how to pick items flattering to you. I recommend watching it before you declutter so you don't accidentally get rid of something that actually fits your personal style. So let's get started. Step 1. Gather all of your clothes. Be sure to pick clothes from the laundry as well as the bathroom, your closet, or if they're in any other rooms, maybe you left some in a suitcase from the last time you traveled, or maybe some pieces that are still in your car like if you went to the gym. You can include your dirty clothes. I recommend doing the laundry first. That way this saves you time from having to resort anything. It also allows you to put away items without delay. For example, if you have your cell donate pile, if clothing is already washed, then you could just stick it right in your car and it's ready to go to the consignment store or Goodwill or something. Step two, create piles. For this, you'll need a minimum of three piles. You'll have your keep, your cell donate, and your toss piles. If you want it to be more in-depth, you might have a repair pile, a trial separation, or if you're crafty, you might have an upcycle pile. Step 3. When sorting, ask yourselves these questions. When did I last wear this? Does it fit? Does it look good on me? Is it worn out? Does it need to be repaired? Do I love this? Here are some additional questions you might ask yourself if you want a more minimalist wardrobe. Can this be worn with multiple items? Does this fit in with my style and color scheme? Is this item easy to take care of? Do I have something like this? Do note, if you need multiple of an item for working out five times a week, consider how often you'd use an item like this. Sometimes you may need multiples. As you go through your wardrobe and ask yourself these questions, it will really help to narrow down your clothing. Again, if you had watched the previous video, then that also will really help to narrow down the clothing items because you know your style, you know what colors will work for you and everything. So once the sorting is all complete, step four, put clothes in respective places. If you have a repair pile, I highly recommend making that one of your top priorities for your clothing because if you need to sew something back up or attach another button, that item won't be worn until that happens. So it will just be sitting there collecting dust and you could have just decluttered that instead. So if you have anything to repair, do those right away. For your cell donate pile, as I said, you could put that straight in your car if you already did all the laundry. If you chose to do a trial separation pile, decide on a time frame that you would like to be apart from it. Once that time frame is up, anything that you've worn within that time frame, you can keep. Those were four steps to decluttering your wardrobe. While step three is the biggest step, it will definitely help to pare down all your items. If you have any more questions that you ask yourself when culling your wardrobe, please comment them below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. For more on minimalism and intentional living, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I have another video up. Thank you for watching. Bye.